Now, this is indeed a strange pair. A G-Class Benz and a tiny Fiat Panda 4x4. What can be expected of a Fiat in these circumstances? Not a lot, you say. And place your bet on a clear win for Mercedes in any head-to-head -head challenge with the cheeky chappy from Italy. But wait, there's more than one might expect under the Fiat's bodywork, and it is a whole lot lighter than the mighty G. So, let us not be too hasty. The all-wheel drive Panda costs 11,700 euros for the 60 horsepower four-cylinder version. Our climbing version costs around 12,400. In comparison, the G270 CDI has three differential locks, boasts 160 horsepower, and costs not less than 50,000 euros. And it weighs all of 2.4 tons. Extra small up against extra large. Cheerful yellow versus moody black. The latest Panda has little to do with the original, which first wore the badge back in the 80s. Individual wheel mounting, ABS, underbody protection, and massive safety fenders make the Panda quite a formidable small bear. Next to it, the G-Class Mercedes seems almost indecently gargantuan. Looks as if it eats pandas for breakfast. Three differential locks and reduction gearing too. Few can match the G-Class in that respect. The cockpit is the command bridge. The driver is master of all he surveys. Much more cozy, in contrast, the well-appointed Panda interior. For emotionality and design, the clear winner is the Panda 4x4. So we have on the one hand 156 turbo diesel horsepower and on the other naturally aspirated 60. But the weight difference results in an almost identical power to weight ratio. The chase is on. The Panda pushes the revs up high but has little torque, nothing to match the 400 newton meters of the Mercedes. Step on the brakes on various surfaces, the Panda comes safely to a halt. Given the simple all-wheel drive system, ESP was deemed unnecessary. The Mercedes brakes just as well. ESP is standard here. Wider tires and bigger brakes make up for the weight disadvantage. Now for the washboard surface. Here the back end almost always breaks away and it's easy to see how easily or not the driver can regain control. The Fiat with its short wheelbase is in this case the underdog. The driver needs lightning fast reflexes. Perhaps Fiat should think again about ESP. The G-Class has a wheelbase of 285 meters, half a meter longer than the Fiat's. This gives the driver much more time to react. But once the back end starts to go, a bit of finesse is called for. The performance of the G270 CDI is inevitably superior. The Mercedes off-road, where reputedly only tanks and bulldozers perform better. Thanks to the reduction gearing, there's little terrain that can't be handled. 21 centimeters of ground clearance, 50 centimeters of fording capability, and a diagonal axle flexibility of 25 centimeters. The figures add up to off-road supremacy. Facing a challenge, just lock all three deferentials and over you go. Or up you go, 80% gradients, no problem. Reduction gearing and differential locks don't belong in the world of the Panda. 
And so the robust performance of the Italian overachiever comes as something of a surprise. The answer is dynamics. Push across the potholes, charge through the axle-twisting sections, splash through streams of up to 40 centimeters deep. All of this is, of course, not so good for the painted fender, and a triumph in this regard is hindered by the inadequate ground clearance, the lack of reduction gearing, and the deficiency in respect of torque. Off-road, the uncontested winner is the Mercedes GE 270 CDI. The Fiat 1.2 4x4 is priced at 12,350 euros for the climbing version. It comes with a three-year guarantee, calls for from six to eight liters of super, and even falls into the most favorable insurance categories. Here, the Mercedes is soundly beaten. It is, of course, a car which belongs to an entirely different class, but it costs four times as much. It uses twice as much fuel, the maintenance costs are horrific, and there's only a two-year guarantee. The economic argument is clearly won by the Panda 4x4. As well as the appeal of the Panda's low price, the off-road performance will please many buyers. The motor could have more oomph, though, but all in all, a clever small bear. The G-Class has always been and always will be the luxurious Neck Plus Ultra off-road, able to meet almost any challenge. There have often been rumors that the G-Class would be taken out of production, but it still sets the benchmark in its category. And as for the Panda, it's now available with a diesel plant and ESP finally.